need to make sure the background is all right. Is the background all right? Hello everybody, my name is Heaven Lee. I am a 19 year old Canadian girl who loves Jesus and it feels so good to connect with you guys again. Like it says in the title, I was in Vegas for 10 days. And before that, I was in my hometown working. I was super busy working and preparing for an event called IPOP, which stands for International Presentation of Performers. So I was scouted to go to this event um, in July when I auditioned in Saskatoon and it's this whole big story if you want to know the whole story I can actually explain how the whole Vegas thing came about but this is a two-part series the first part is just showing you how much fun I had the first few days I was there the first video is just all about enjoying Vegas how it was like in the strip so if you want to actually hear about the iPop event go to vlog number two which I'll have in the link down below but if you want to hear about Vegas and how it was for me there just keep watching I'm looking down because I kept some kind of the journal I wrote about like I wrote a lot about everything we had, the schedule. We kept at iPop, the commercial I did, the boot camps and the advice. I like, I wrote down as much as I could, but I'll start with Vegas. So I ended up vlogging the whole thing with music and edited and it's so cool. So you guys can watch that. One, two, three, go. because we fly out at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So I'll be waking up at like 4.30 in the morning. We are eating at a new Vietnamese restaurant that I've never tried before. So I think the food is going to be good. Say hey ladies. Hi. Hi. baggage claim got our stuff checked then I have to bring my own guitar to Vegas so I hope that travels well damn mommy <laughs>
We're here. So we just got to Vegas. We're waiting for the shuttle for the M Resort, M Resort and Spa Hotel. Uh, we got another about 20 minutes to wait. We've been walking around everywhere. We have to take this van to drive us around the airport because it's so big and they have to like drive you to the terminal. I'm so happy we only have to wait like 20 minutes. We spent the rest of the time just searching. Up. <laughs> transportation and we're gonna go downtown Las Vegas. I'm so excited. <laughs> Strip, the Hollywood Boulevard Road, just full of different hotels and malls. We were up and walking for about like seven hours straight, so our feet are a little sore and we're a little tired. We just finished eating at the buffet, but anyways, I'm going to take a nice hot bath and get ready for bed. It is 8.40, 10.40 in Saskatchewan, but 8.40 here in Vegas. See you tomorrow. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 
We decided to wake up early. We're aiming for about 5.30 in the morning here. It's about 7.30 back in Saskatchewan. I'm gonna do my devotions. My mom is gonna read her book and enjoy the view. Look how pretty those mountains look. Okay, so we're just waiting for our breakfast. Um, we're gonna head down to the strip again. I need some contact solution for my contacts because I forgot to pack some. <laughs> Hello everybody! Today me and my mom decided to rest and just stay at the hotel, chill, watch YouTube videos, also just taking time to rest and prepare for tomorrow which is when the auditions start and the whole week starts and I'm so excited. We just finished eating at the seafood buffet which is so good. But right now I'm going to take a bath and just enjoy the rest of the night. So, bath time! Do you like it? So it was very fun kind of walking around with my mom being able to see those places that you always see in the movies and in the photos So it was really nice to actually be there But my first experience when we stepped off of that shuttle, I was super overwhelmed I wasn't expecting that much people because if you really think about it Canada only has like about 42 million and the US has 400 million like Oh, it's gonna be pretty packed in big cities. I was expecting it, but I still wasn't prepared for it I didn't really know how to kind of react to those crowds Especially since a lot of the people there are trying to sell you things to your face They tried to sell like bracelets people trying to sell you their mixtape <laughs> Most of the time I just felt like could you please leave me alone? I don't want this I had to like hold my mom's hand and I was just kind of like keeping her super close the thing is my mom has a short haircut and she was wearing a dark sweater with with some neutral color pants. If you don't actually look at her face, people thought that she was a man. We laughed about it, especially since people approached us at least two or three times asking if we wanted to get married. Me and my mom, <laughs> like what the heck? How rude is that? You ain't no minister. <laughs> Overall, it was nice. I was only there for the iPop event. And I even have the sticker on my laptop, which I really like. It looks cool. I wouldn't really choose Vegas for like a vacation spot. It's just not what I'd prefer for like a place to go if I were to choose to travel somewhere. But that was my experience in Vegas. I'm super grateful for it. Not complaining in any way. I just realized that's really not my crowd, but I'm happy to be able to say that I've been there and that I experienced that. And definitely something I could write into my bucket list and cross it off just for fun <laughs> but anyways thank you so much for watching I'll see you in part two of this video when I start to talk about the iPop event and God bless you knocking down the fear of failing kicking in the doors that lock me out